So this week, the Food and Drug Administration issued a brand new health warning about breast implants. Risks do include a rare type of cancer. Here to explain is plastic surgeon Dr. Stuart Linder. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much Doc, for being here. Thank you for having me. A lot of people kind of just stop in their tracks when they hear this. Um, a certain form of the breast implant is at issue. Can you talk about what that is? What is a textured implant? Well, I actually brought one real quickly today for you to see. And this is the textured implant. This is specifically Allergan's textured implant. So the big problem with this implant is it has a fuzzy coating. Right. And this fuzzy coating has been shown to be linked to a cancer called ALCL, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. So that's the issue with this specific implant. So when did this first come to be? When did the problem first get realized? Interestingly, back in 2011, the FDA showed cases throughout the world of this cancer. It's a lymphoma in the breast, around the capsule, it's within the capsule, and within fluid around the implant. So 2011, 600 uh, cases have been confirmed of this lymphoma from this textured implant. So how many people have that textured implant? Is it common, is it rare? It's, it's not that common today because only about two to three percent of all implants used are textured. 97% are smooth. And in my practice over 23 years, we've used 14,000 smooth implants. I've never used textured but implants. But people might have had a breast implant many years ago really need to know. That is correct. And so if you've had textured silicone, you, you have to be very concerned. So in July, they had the recall. Um, That's right. And do people automatically get told that they have that implant? They need to be careful. What, what happens? Well, you know, TV like KTLA has been great. And I was here just, you know, a couple months ago talking about this as well, about the textured implant recall by Allergan Worldwide. Uh, so it some women don't even know what type of implant they have, so that can be an issue as well. Other complications possible, including fatigue, things like joint pain. So what symptoms should patients look out for, maybe if they don't remember right. what type of implant they have? Well, specifically with this textured implant, we're looking out for ALC, a lymphoma. And it's usually they have one breast that is swollen. It can be tender and very painful. So it's called unilateral swelling of one breast. That can be very uh, serious. Is there a way that if you don't know, if you're not in contact with your plastic surgeon, if it's been many, many years, like, do you do it? an x-ray how do you know it's a great question and the problem is most women don't know that if had them done 20 30 years ago whether they have smooth or textured implants um, and we do an MRI MRI is, is pathognomonic for telling us whether you have a ruptured implant but it doesn't always tell you if it's textured coated right we don't know that until we get in the operating room so when there's a recall let's say in the automobile industry it's usually the manufacturer that has to go out and say hey there's something wrong with your car is that something a plastic surgeon will do is it something you should do well, absolutely. If, our, if we have logs of patients that we put textured implants in, I think it's our, you know, we should be going back through our files and telling these patients, you have textured implants, are you symptomatic? Now, the FDA is not asking us to remove all textured implants in women unless they're symptomatic. Again, swelling, pain, and one breast and associated like that. But would you say, like, you know, why wait till you have a problem if you know you have them and they are causing problems? That, that is a great question. And, and a lot of women are scared. Yeah. It's like, listen, it's a ticking time bomb. Right. If I have textured implants, do I really want to wait to have an issue? Yeah. So I have a lot of patients coming in that are not my patients and I'm redoing their breast every week because they want this textured implant out. Out, right, right. So if someone's watching right now and they want to consider a procedure, what, what's sort of the what's the best what, what what do you recommend that people should do for best look but more importantly yeah. for health reasons if we're dealing with a woman having her very first primary breast augmentation for the first time we always use smooth whether we're doing silicone or saline smooth implants are safe so that's what we need to do uh, if, if a woman has textured implants we need to remove that textured implant we need to remove the capsule mm -hmm. and take if there's fluid take that fluid and send it to pathology, mm -hmm. send mine to UCLA, to make sure that there's no CD30 marker. If that's positive, CD30, then we have to be very concerned about lymphoma. Really good information. Thank you so much, doctor, for being here. Yeah, Always a pleasure, We'll guys. see you the next time. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back.